Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I promised myself when I started a YouTube channel, I would never do anything stupid until now. <laughs> friends from YouTube, Jackie Naturals, tagged me to do this fun tag, which is um, doing a video where you can't say certain number of words. My words are trash, gar <laughs> trash, garbage, all. empties, finish, shimmer, affordable. But just to let you know, those are the words that I can't say during this video. These words was chosen by me and a good friend of mine, Jessica Cifuentes. It's very fitting that she chose those words because I'm actually doing a trash video. I have my son, my trusty assistant today, and every time he hears those words, he is going to ring the buzzer, and pretty much I have to eat a little spoonful of mayonnaise. And I'm not happy about that. I <laughs> It was his idea. I asked him what do you think I should try and he said mayonnaise. I was gonna go for apple cider vinegar just like Jackie did on her video. Either that or olive oil. Um, I already feel like gagging just the thought of it. So I think we're gonna get started. So everything from now counts, okay? Jaden. <laughs> okay, so before we get started, I wanted to mention that I won a giveaway. And this was from my good friend, Vanessa Beauty. She had a live and I was one of her winners. And so if you haven't heard of Vanessa Beauty, I talk about her a lot here on my channel. We do a lot of collabs together, mini collabs. We just kind of support each other. We have the same love for makeup and skincare, mostly the skincare side, but um, that's how we kind of support each other. We tell each other what to get. <laughs> buy it was a mini giveaway i think there was like three or four winners during her live i got a murad eye renewing cream i love the murad line the blue i've tried the orange line i haven't tried the green so this is interesting it's a teeny weeny sample but you know for ice it's a good size to try and then i also got a dashing i opened it already because i was so excited i wanted to try it out before the video so you guys can see it on my hands but i just didn't have the time but i also got this dashing diva gloss ultra shine gel palette so that's what this is looks really nice very fall appropriate so i can't wait to try this they're like nail polish strips i'm very much into like nail polish stick on strips i have one from color street and i did a whole video about it in case you're interested go and check that out supreme eyelash kit okay so when i opened this i was expecting lashes but it's not i was pleasantly surprised to see that the lash serum the supreme serum and this is by the brand Matikos. I don't think I've tried this brand before. It's supposed to help your lashes grow and become more fuller. Actually, I've never tried an eyelash serum before, so I'm excited to have this because most eyelash serums are super, super pricey. And it comes with these three other tools, which is awesome i don't have one of these tools it's like an eyelash separator or an eyelash comb so and i like that it's like going straight up so it prevents you from poking your eye out so that's nice i'm gonna definitely get a lot of use out of this and yeah that's everything in the box okay so let's go ahead and do our empties oh sh so thick <laughs> my son is looking at me mm. Mm. it's no good it's really salty but the problem is the texture I'm not saying that word again <clears throat> okay so today we are doing my um, hmm, that's another word for it. My trash. We are going to, what? 
it's a texture and it hurts and it's hard to go down so I have my water I don't think it's enough but this is my FabFitFun water bottle that I got in my FabFitFun box okay I don't want to contaminate this big giant bowl of mayonnaise so I'm gonna have my son get another spoon so I'm gonna have my son get another bowl what? <laughs> no, we are not using this spoon. I, I hope I don't finish that much mayonnaise, okay? I don't think I can concentrate. Okay. Briojo, don't despair, deep conditioning mask. So, by the way, these, these stuff right here that I have that I'm all out of, yes, they're mostly skincare and body. So no makeup this time. Briojo, like a birthday present from Sephora. It's the conditioner and scalp revival duo. It's my first time actually using charcoal hair mask and they're okay, they're not bad. It's pretty gritty. I never realized that it was gritty. It just didn't wow me. I wanna try some more if I could, um, but just first impressions it did not wow me next one I have is Thayer's facial toner witch hazel with aloe vera one of my favorite toners I use this all the time and this is in the cucumber scent it doesn't have a strong cucumber scent but I love it on my face it's very refreshing I love toners that are plain I don't like toners with AHAs BHAs like I want my toner to be plain I really love this next one that I have is this face cleanser with antioxidant booster so this is by First Aid Beauty. First Aid Beauty is one of my most favorite brands. Man, that mayonnaise is making me gag. I feel like this cleanser is a little too light for me. I didn't like it when I have a full face of makeup on, but for those of you who don't wear a lot of makeup, this is a very nice, gentle cleanser. I definitely recommend this for people who may have sensitive skin or who may have like um, who doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Patchology, yes, Patchology eye patches. I finally finished one. I think I used the last one up when I was on a live with Jackie and Vanessa Beauty. So if you haven't seen our live, go check out Jackie's channel because there's a three-way live between us and it was all about skincare and masking and we did the whole shebang with eye masks so it was fun and so that's how I re will always remember this but Patchology, it's a five minute eye patch, very cooling. It's basically a rejuvenating eye gel. I really like it. I usually try to do eye patches once every other night so I love that. This is a cleanser that was recommended by, by my friend. She uses Youth to the People a lot. And this is a kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser. So I love this. I'm so sad that it's gone. I wanna get the full size. And this brand can be a little pricey at Sephora, whether I have a full face of makeup or not. I love it, it's great at cleansing. The only thing I notice, it's a tad less moisturizing compared to my let's say purity one cleanser it's still a very good cleanser and i love that it's it's a green and i love that i can't talk because all i can think of is the mayonnaise is there alcohol in mayonnaise because i feel dizzy the next empty that i have is living proof <sighs> i said it i said it again Ugh. Yuck. The next one that I have is Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. Instant volume, instant lasting volume and texturizer. I love this, but I love my dry conditioner from Pantene more. And this is way more, maybe twice or three times more expensive than that. It's like a styling and finishing spray. It gives me volume, but it also weighs my hair down a little bit. Finish. We're not gonna talk about these products a lot. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I've got a lot of products in twos. That's how long I've been saving all of these, you know, 
products <laughs> that I've used up. Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. Love it, especially if you have oily to combination skin. It's very light, but it absorbs nicely into the skin. It doesn't feel sticky. I hate moisturizers that feel sticky. For example, Kate Somerville's Goat Milk, sticky as heck. During the 21 days of beauty sale, this went on sale again. So I got another one. And I think I got this for about $11. And normally one ounce is around $21, $22. So I got it for an amazing price. Next thing that I have is uh, this champagne and charcoal scrub by Mana Kadar. I got this a long, long time ago from my FabFitFun box. It smells like champagne. Let me open it up. It's very gritty but nice on the skin. I mean, for the body, it's definitely really nice. Oh, it still smells really good. I like body stuff to smell really, really good without it being too overpowering. Just kind of like that spa scent. I love this. It has that freshness and um, sweetness to it. And I feel like it keeps my skin really hydrated after the shower. So love that. The next item is by Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Essence. Um, I know I've mentioned it before, essence is an essential step to skincare, but if you have toner, I feel like you can do without essence. So I'm not sure. I should ask my friend Vanessa Beauty about it, but I don't see the difference. I see toner and essence as interchangeable when it comes to the feel and how it, you know, works with my serums. Um, they're kind of equal to me, so... This is a very pricey, pricey essence by Fresh. I'd rather put my money on serums than on toners and essence, if you know what I mean. And this is a small bottle. I probably bought it for 20, but their big full size will probably run you, I don't know, like 30 and up. So well, that might be a pass for me, but I really want to explore the essence formula more and really learn about it more. Another pair up is this tea tree oil. I go through this really quickly together with my son. I mean, I don't think there's ever a day. There is a day where I don't have breakouts, but there are more days that I do. And I'm always constantly struggling with it and constantly trying to make it go away. And thank goodness to skincare because when I was younger, no one really taught me about skincare. And I just let the zits eat my face up you know and i had to deal with it as a teenager as an adolescent tea tree awesome for acne if you are not sensitive it smells like crazy and it might sting you when you put it on your zit but for me that's a sign that it's penetrating and really helping but tea tree oil has been known to be very good at re reducing acne and redness and just calming the skin so highly recommend it i have two of the effaclair duo too sometimes these do go on sale during skincare sale at ulta they almost always do i don't think i bought this regular price this is definitely an affordable skincare what affordable i was hoping you don't catch it <laughs> Cheers! Mm. I just want it to go down, like I just want to swallow it, but the texture of the mayo just won't let me swallow it. <clears throat> it's thick, you know? If I didn't love Jackie, I wouldn't be doing this. Mm -mm. But <laughs> Jackie, this for you. <laughs> okay. La Rose Posay, Posay Effaclair Duo. It's an acne treatment. I use it in combination with the tea tree. Works the best when they're together. Highly recommend this. Gone through so many of these. Okay, so the next empties that I have is the Neutrogena Rapid. Mm. It's a serum anti-aging serum it's hard to really know how much a serum does because it's not really gonna reverse time it's not gonna remove all the wrinkles 
I know because I've had two bottles of these. This has an accelerated retinol. So, you know, retinol is great for anti-aging and it doesn't make my skin peel. It's not at all a very strong retinol. So it's not gonna make your skin red or angry. <laughs> you know, it's going to um, slowly resurface that skin. Next pair up is this Super Spot Remover Dark Spot Corrector by Origin. So here's another one. Can you tell I struggle a lot with acne? <laughs> um, this is amazing with acne treatment. It contains salicylic acid and when I use this, I mean it dries my pimple overnight. Amazing product and it's in this tiny bottle but very potent love 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 this i got this from 0 0.08 liter um it's an app where you kind of apply for products that you want to try i love this cleanser it's very good at really cleaning out the pores it makes your face squeaky clean it's by medicube and i know this brand this is one of the best brands in korea so i was glad that i got sent this for free jergens natural glow gradually creates flawless natural looking color firming daily moisturizer i like to use this during the summertime and of course i use this on my legs i don't think it reduces the cellulite but it reduces the appearance of it when the sun hits your legs gives you that glow pretty much and definitely moisturizing i got a yucky sponge sponge gel sponge i love sponge gel i think the convenience of it all that it's an exfoliator and also a soap in one and also a moisturizer all the different scents it's kind of like bath and body you know and to be able to bring those into the shower is another type of spa experience to me and so i love it by the way spawn gel is going to be in my upcoming giveaway for my 500 subscriber giveaway so definitely be on the lookout for the announcements and how to enter it's definitely coming up if not this coming week next week for sure okay next one is the lancome by facile I can't even pronounce it because it's just that fancy, but you know what it is, Lancome. This is an eye makeup remover. You guys see this all the time. It usually comes as a free gift, but usually the smaller bottle. I think this was gifted to me. Of course, I love this. My other cheaper alternative is by Neutrogena. That's what I use more often because it's more affordable. Otherwise, this is a great, great eye makeup remover. Next one. Oh my gosh, this is a long time coming. Proactive Advanced Daily Oil Control. I've had this for years and I don't know why I haven't emptied it, but it's non-comedogenic. <laughs> like all over your teeth your gums what was i saying advanced daily oil control it's non-comedogenic i have to check if it's still being sold because this is one of the best oil controls out there it contains salicylic acid now i love this i want to say a lot more than my cover effects mattifying primer with salicylic acid I feel like this does a better job. Okay, this one is a tiny bottle, an Amandi shower oil. Finally finished it. The Amandi line from L'Occitane, amazing. I love their lotions, their hand creams, and this one, their shower oil. It's definitely very moisturizing and the scent is amazing. I got this in my L'Occitane advent calendar it's this size it's pretty small if you haven't seen my loxitan unboxing go check it out i talk all about the different products that i got from my loxitan box so finally down to my last product another pair up my dr brand microdermabrasion age defying exfoliator you guys know how much i love this it's a very rough exfoliator for the face it's either you love it or you hate it but i like it rough you know that it's been doing wonders with 
my face when I have acne. If you have sensitive skin, you might want to focus it more on the problematic areas. Love this product, very pricey, and I'm so happy that I got this in a giveaway. I won another giveaway from Flaky Diva, and the grand prize to me there was the Dr. Brand Age Defying Micro Exfoliator. So that is it, guys. I am so glad I made it through this video. I still have a lot of mayonnaise left in that bowl, but I'm so glad I didn't get through it. This was a fun video. My son had a good laugh, and I hope you guys did too. Hope you enjoyed my empties. That word doesn't count anymore. We're all done with this game, okay? <laughs> Thank you to Jackie Naturals for tagging me in this video. It's not often that I do fun videos. Like some of my friends tell me, you're always so serious on your videos. And I really am because I really try to put a lot of work and research behind it. Of course, I'm not a professional and um, I let you know what works and what doesn't work for me, for my skin, for my face, for my body and what works for me may not necessarily work for you but you can take my recommendations with a grain of salt and run with it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already definitely be on the lookout for that 500 subscriber giveaway and with that said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye